So the very first thing is Macklin has come out with a new ESC. It's got seven stages, uh, 70 degree turbo timing, pre-solder soldered, 10 gauge wiring, upgraded control board, new high capacity DRK super capacitor, uh, and improved data logging with higher resolution and crop function. That's Ooh. been wrenched directly off of their page. So it's another <laughs> uh, traction control ESC. <laughs> Anyways, so you know, if you guys are really looking into that and you like the Macklin products, there's a new one, and that one should uh, get you going down the track faster than you can handle. That'll be awesome. More things to tune than I don't know. <laughs> More things to tune than most people can handle. I mean, really setting up the car going fast. Uh, Primal has come out with a version three of the one fifth scale Mega Monster truck. Uh, this is more of a mud slinger style truck uh if you guys know anything about primal everything in them is uh machine aluminum they're very high end you're talking you know 30 3700 us i believe so you are going to be <laughs> breaking the bank if you buy one of these and try to run it um four wheel drive gas motor uh i hear rumors that there is a <coughs> uh, electric conversion you can do haven't seen one yet uh they improved reverse gear 100 kg steering servos two of them <laughs> on the front axle and i think you set up as four-wheel steer but i haven't seen one of those done yet they did set up a voltage meter in there so you can run this thing and, and actually keep track of the voltage of your battery so it doesn't uh wander off on you <laughs> It's got a little scale dude in there, Lexan dude in there driving this time. Um, they've upgraded all the hardware, so it's stronger heads on all the bolts now. And the tires are 11 inches tall by four and a half inches wide. <laughs> like, it's huge. It's a monster. I mean, it is, it's, it's not one of those things you're going to throw in the back of your little Civic. You're probably going to want to take it to wherever you're going in the back of a pickup truck. Tim says, probably, I, I can see Tim having this thing in the back of his car. So challenge accepted, Tim. Yeah, challenge accepted, of course, right? <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, I could totally see Tim actually squeezing them all in there. <laughs> probably put four of them in there. I know he managed to fit, uh, what, four X Maxes in the back of that little Hyundai, so. It's a Vlosser. <laughs> and then J Concepts has released some sexy goodness for the good old vintage RC 10T. Look, yeah, I knew you were gonna roll your eyes. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew Let it, it die. It. On to the next new better things. Hey, respect your elders, you. <laughs> Steering linkage and I'm laughing because I've got one of these, so now I've got new parts to put on it. Yay! One? Just one? Maybe. Uh, yeah, exactly. When your collection... Hard! Sorry, I sneezed there. It's uh, it's going to be... It's just going to beef, basically beef up the entire front end. All aluminum. All aluminum everywhere. All aluminum Everywhere. Everywhere. All right, and yeah, then Yacht Racing has come up with some brass C hubs for the Enduro line, the Element One Tenth Scale Enduro line. So they didn't want to be left out. They've been making it for everybody else. Snow Season Power Hobby One Tenth Scale Rooster Two Point Eight Belted Paddle Tires. Belted, finally. Belted. belted. Oh. And as you can see, it has the uh interchangeable center hub and it looks to me to be a little beefier than the one made by proline i know proline's had a problem with the thread stripping out because it was so thin yeah this looks a lot beefier it does the look threads are inset more so i think there's more meat there for it to bite into uh i also like the fact that on the flat spots there's still some tread right yeah 
And then FMS, drive. <laughs> FMS has released another uh, 112 scale, 118 scale. This is a Toyota Hilux pickup. The 1983. <coughs> 1983. Oh, I'm losing my voice. <coughs> Officially licensed. Opening tailgate. Pretty much the same as the Chevy. Uh, which was not officially licensed, but opening tailgate, same look, same detailed interior, almost the same chassis, <clears throat> same lights that come on when you drive forward and signal lights that turn every single time you sit, move side one way or the other. <coughs> There's a shot. Yeah, baby Yoda. There's a shot of the tailgate opening. Yay. Fury RC. Yet another company that has released a D90. Oh, another one. Uh, this one is officially licensed. Ooh. This has a three-speed transmission, LED lighting, That's metal gear, 540 motor. Uh, comes in two colors, this yellow and a gunmetal. Full metal drive shafts and CVDs, full bearings, scale interior. <clears throat> and it comes fully assembled and ready to drive. Now... If you guys notice, the wheels on this sucker and the tires are quite large. Yeah, they are. Compared to other companies that also make the D90, where they, they seem to be um, really, really tiny. And for all you guys who got the SCX6 and you think you needed more clearance, well, there you go. They got more clearance. Samex came out with a titanium set. Of high clearance line of links and everything 10 piece <clears throat> uh and they're actually labeled which was kind of convenient i'm actually going to wind it i'm going to back it up a bit here so you guys can see where it's labeled yeah, oh, yeah, back, it up, back it up back it up hold on hold on i gotta find the bar there it is found it let's go back to here there it is yeah there it is right 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 there so as you can see, it's lower. They're marked lowers, uppers, front pan hard, steering short, front right upper, rear upper. I mean, honestly, why doesn't every company do that? Cost more for the laser etching. Yeah, but you know how much headache it saves? But look how big those links are. You can write on and people can see it. Yes, true. This is true. This is a valid point. Very valid oh, point. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, valid point. I get you. I get you. And then Traxxas has done it again. They've released another new vehicle. Oh, In wait. No, it's just four new colors. Black, are blue, those, silver, those, and white. Are those fender flares a little bit different? Nope. Well, no? maybe. Where's mine? Let me look. Let me look. Yeah. Let me look. Let me look. Hold on. <laughs> nope. Just look at those fender flares. Exactly are the same. <laughs> No nope. Bronco. They are exactly the same. That is pretty much all the new stuff for this week that has come out. Do you have the blue of RC? Show me the blue. Show me the blue. You want to see the blue again? What's the blue? The blue looked good. I got to show you the blue. The blue was at the front. Uh oh. Oh blue god. Was at the beginning of the list. Let's look here. I want to see the oh, blue. 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 There you go. Oh yeah. You like oh, that, oh, don't oh, you? Oh. Huh? All right. That's nice. Very nice. As you can see, as you can tell, I still still have that feeling from running that Bronco in the snow. I can tell. I can tell. It's awesome. Breathtaking. By the way, I, I got some parts here for you. Is it Where's that breathtaking? For the <laughs> record, a Bronco with a winch really can't flip over a max very easily i tried one time okay yeah yeah it only lasted one time man yeah i think i think it was weakened by hauling itself up in midair <laughs> maybe structural that's 100 right they need to make the removable top for the bronco they totally do they should be making this body so the top comes off somebody will I just don't know if it'll be anytime soon. <laughs> but and everybody remembers 
when Aaron is driving the Bronco, that's what he does. He just yells, Bronco! Bronco! Group's gone, but yeah. <laughs> so anyways, that is uh, new in RC this week. Tune in next week for what's new in the next week. <laughs> there should be some cool stuff coming. I mean, it is 2022, so they should be releasing all kinds of new cool stuff, right? Right. And maybe, maybe new F1 by then, maybe? Uh, you're quite sad about the F1, aren't you? 